Hi guys, uh, my name's Charlie. I got the, the 2017 Forest River Salem by Forest River. I'm experiencing a problem with the gray water tank. It doesn't want to um, drain completely. And I've been having a problem off and on pretty much since new. We bought it new. Um, I haven't had it back to the dealer because mainly, mainly because the manufacturer warranty ran out on it. I do have extended warranty on it, but I don't know if it'll cover this or not. But I'm going to try this myself first before I go to the dealer. But I got an idea that they possibly put the cut the holes out in the top of the tank whenever they were plumbing it and um, drop the slugs down into the tank. And then they're every night, it doesn't happen all the time, but when it does happen, it's frustrating. Whenever you're draining the tank, they they float up there and plug up your hole and um. It'll allow it to trickle, allow water to trickle out, but uh, I've had to let the gate valve open all night already in order for it to uh, trickle out and empty so that we can continue to take showers whenever we're camping and stuff. And, you know, that stuff's frustrating whenever you're camping. You want you go camping just to have a good time, not to be dealing with the mess all the time. So I'm going to take the uh, gate valve off and try to pop that pipe out of the tank and look in there and, and flush it out and try to see if I can find what's in there but there's definitely something in there that comes up against the hole and blocks the hole so I'm gonna keep you informed I don't have a holder to hold my camera so it's gonna be maybe shaky at times and uh, difficult at times but uh, I'll I'll piece this together and hopefully it'll be a good informational video for somebody else if they're having a similar problem maybe it'll maybe we'll find out what it is and uh, if I can help somebody else that'd be great what we're doing is we're draining this uh, gray water tank from the antifreeze and water that I put in it from uh, winterizing it, from flushing my lines out. I blow all my lines out um, so that they're completely free of water, hopefully, and um, then I dump antifreeze down the traps. So there is some water that gets in the gray tank. So I'm just I just got a bucket under here for now. Um, trying to catch as much as I can so I don't get soaking wet trying to trying to tear this apart but right here's the uh, gate valve I'm gonna take off and then if you can see it up in there I know it's hard to see if you can see it up in there there's the clamp that I'm going to take off and it looks like it has uh, plumber's putty around it and um, it should come right off so I'm going to uh, Take that gate valve off and then take that off up there and take it out and see if I can see what might be in that tank. But I got a pretty good idea that it's the slugs. They cut holes in the tank whenever they were plumbing it. And um, I'm got an idea they dropped the slug or maybe all the slugs are in there and they just float around and when I go to drain it if it's close to that end of the tank, it ends up clogging my the hole up in my tank and uh, I don't get a full drain out of it, it just trickles and uh, when you're ready to leave from camping that's the last thing you want to happen you want to get your tank flushed out and get it out of emptied so you can don't want to have all that weight to come home plus you know you just you need it empty so I've had to uh, leave the gate valve open overnight already for the tank to empty so we can continue to take showers and stuff and uh it's getting pretty old so i'm gonna try to figure out what's going on here all right get back to you looks like these uh bolts on this gate video are eight millimeter so i'm gonna put my camera down and go ahead and uh, take those out get that loose and then we're gonna move up there to that clamp and see what we can do up there okay so you can see I got the bolts out of that uh, gate valve and I'm going to try to pry that open and just pull on this pipe right here, pull on a little bit, open it up, open this gap up a little bit and try to get that out of there. It should all just come out. There's probably O-rings and things like that in there so I'm going to have to watch how, how I get it apart and um, I'm going to have to stop this while I do that. Sorry that I can't show you. So I have that apart. And there are two two rubber uh, ring ring type things that go in there to to seal that up. But there's basically what your gate valve is going to look like. 
of course if you uh, close it up you can see you can see that uh, how that operates there's just like a plate plastic plate in there that comes down and closes everything off and then those rubbers that are up here the rubbers that are up here on this this uh, neck that's what seals it up keeps the water from uh, coming out and uh, so that parts apart now I'm, I'm going up to work on that uh, on that clamp there and seeing if I can twist and pull that right out of there hopefully that's how it works okay so that clamp uh, the hex on that clamp is a 5 16 so I'm gonna use a 5 16 socket on it rather than a uh, flat screwdriver because the ratchet's going to be much faster and it's not going to slip off like a flathead screwdriver does i don't normally like to use flathead screwdrivers if i can help it so all right i'll get this clamp off and then uh, get back to you okay so what i did was i loosened that clamp up and slid it all the way back and um i don't know if this is going to come loose for me or not but i'm going to wiggle on it here work on it and see if I can get it to come loose this appears to be just like a plumber's putty so um, I'm sure it's supposed to come apart I may have to put some heat on it not sure but I'm gonna find out here okay so I did work it loose what I did was I got a hold of it right here right here and then got a hold of it down here so I have leverage on it without breaking the tank and I twisted and pried and all that and um, it is loose so I'm gonna keep working on trying to get it to come out here and we're gonna find out what's in that tank okay I'll get back to you okay so I got it out and uh, it appears like there's a no-ring right there and then they just smear plumber's putty all around that and slip it into the hole in the tank and uh, so you can see the reducer down in there the hole in the tank's like three inches and it reduces down an inch and a half and you can see uh, there's nothing right there plugging it up at this point but um, doesn't mean there isn't anything laying in the tank so we're gonna find out here but uh, it was uh, relatively simple to get apart it's just going to take a little bit of pressure to to uh, get that to, that seal to break loose on that uh, plumber's putty. But just be careful with it and work with it and uh, don't damage your tank because your tank's going to be the most expensive piece to, to uh, replace. This plumbing's going to be relatively cheap compared to your tank. So There it is with the plumbing off of it. So now I just got to try to um, look in there. Get something maybe dig around in there and pull out whatever it is that comes up against that uh, inch and a half hole at times and blocks it off so we'll find it well uh well my suspicions were right i see a slug from the from the tank laying right inside there so i'm gonna try to maybe reach in here and see if i can reach it but yeah 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 i got it there's one there's one and you can see with what i just pulled out that that's what it is that's exactly what it is it's a, it's a damn slug there's lots of hair from the shower and stuff but uh you can see exactly what it is it's a slug from the whenever they drilled the tank out now the question is is there any more in there so now I've got to uh, try to look up in there further or get a hose or whatever. And, and that's got a little bit of weight to it so I can see why you wouldn't have the problem all the time. But uh, yeah, it, that's what the problem was and that's what I figured it was after I kept having the problem. I figured it was something that was floating back and forth. And uh, that's that's what's going on. So um, And that's, that's going right up against that hole and stopping that hole. From, uh, uh, and you can see there's a hole in the middle of it so that's probably all that really drains out is that that little hole in the middle of that and uh that's been irritating for the last several several years i should have fixed it looked at it way before now but i was looking for information on the internet and i uh, couldn't find anything 
So uh, I'm trying to make up this little video so that uh, maybe I can help somebody else. So hopefully, hopefully this uh, this will fix my problem and uh, help somebody else in the process. Hopefully, and I'm definitely going to contact the manufacturer, let them know what I found. And um, I'm sure this isn't the first time they probably are aware that their guys are doing this. And uh, but it doesn't matter because I didn't take it back to them to fix, so it doesn't matter, you know. And probably 90% of the people deal with the problem because they don't want to stop camping and take their their rig back you know so they probably deal with it too and uh so the manufacturer ain't gonna care but uh we'll see we'll see what they say about this but i'm definitely i got the evidence i'm definitely uh contacting them send them maybe send them this video too okay so i did find another one in there so there's two in there but it's just out of reach that I don't think I can get it with my reaching my hand in there. So uh, I have a piece of half inch PVC pipe that I took in a uh, lid off of a cat food can and taped to the end of it. And it's kind of odd looking, but um, I think it'll go in there. I'll be able to get up above it and pull it right out to me. Um, and you can see it there. Anybody that knows me knows that I make up weird contraptions to to do things and uh, most of the time the stuff works sometimes i gotta redo it and check something else and try something else but uh, i believe this will work and how i found the second one actually was i went along the bottom of the tank and i just hit it with my hand and i got it to bounce and um that's how i seen it because of the uh the little bit of debris that's in there i couldn't really see it but um I'm going to get this one out and then I'm going to go up to the other end and I'm going to take my hand and hit the tank and see if I can get anything else in there to bounce and uh, and uh, see if there's any more. Hopefully there is no more. Hopefully those two, will, uh, I can get them out of there. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to hook up my garden hose and try to flush this tank out really well because my sensors aren't working real well uh, right now and I can see the, them right here. They're in the tank right here, and um, when I'm looking in there, I can see that they got, uh, looks like rust on the ends of them, so they might just be bad sensors, and the cheapest sensors that they probably can put in, and uh, so I'm going to try to clean them off for now, and uh, hopefully they'll work for me next season. I'm not going anymore this year, so um, hopefully uh, I can get them cleaned off and they'll work for me next season, and if they don't, I'll try the, the new Miracle sensors that's out there and see if they work better for me. I'll let you know what happens. So, uh, but yeah, that tool worked enough that I could get it pulled forward. And there's the second one. And of course, it's got a hole in it, but with all this slime and stuff on it, if it works, if it works up in against that, uh, pipe it's no wonder it shuts it down and i'll show you here it'll fit right in there perfect and shut it right off so um i'm going to do a little bit more tapping here and see if i can find any more and hopefully i don't but i definitely need to um get some of the sludge flushed out of here and some of that's in there because uh of how slow it's been draining i haven't been able to get it get a good flush out of the, the gray tank okay okay so um here's the two slugs right here one and two and here's the pipe that goes into the uh tank and whenever wow that sun's making it hard to see down in there trying to get it turned so that you all can see it but there you can see the hole that's in that reducer and i'm going to drop one of these slugs down in there yeah, I'm sorry, but it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard for me to hold this and do this at the same time. But I'm going to put one of these slugs down in there. And yeah, I'm going to show you what happens whenever that slug goes over that hole. Now you can see there the majority of that hole is covered up. And the only thing that's seeping out of there is that little wee quarter inch hole in that they drilled in there whenever they had their pilot bit in there and it's covering it's covering darn near that whole hole 
there's a little bit on the edge that it's not covered and I don't know if you know you can't quite get it to cover the whole thing because it's clear out on the edge but my problem is going to be solved so I'm not going to have this issue anymore I dig the pound on the tank quite a bit under there to see if I could get any more to rattle and I couldn't so I'm pretty confident that I probably got them all cleaned out but in the same sense I'm going to get my garden hose out and I'm going to uh, flush it out really good with my garden hose it ain't uh, we are in the late October here in Pennsylvania so it's a little little cool if I get wet but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it anyway because I need to do it and make sure I have a a uh, better camping experience next spring whenever we break this thing out again and start camping for the spring and summer into the fall so uh, anyway hope this helps somebody and it's a matter of fact a matter for me to clean it out and put it back together and I'm definitely contacting the manufacturer and letting them know what's going on with their with their guys that's building this shit so these are the two slugs that I pulled out of the gray water tank that was causing me my problem I cleaned it all out I hosed it all out hopefully it um, doesn't have as much build up now because it'll be able to flow out of there um, there was a lot of build up on the sensors that's why my sensors kept reading full I hosed them off they're they're nice and clean and I checked it and uh, they're registered and empty now but uh, this was a relatively simple job to do it wasn't that hard it's just uh the unknown not knowing what comes apart what doesn't really come apart and uh i've never done this so it kind of kind of was a learning experience for me too the plumber's putty that was around the uh connection that was the hardest thing to uh to uh find because i went to the hardware store and uh the Odie brand tells you not to use it on abs and uh, plastics so i don't know why they tell you not to but um the stuff that was on there from the manufacturer was actually kind of um, pliable it, so it was be, be able to take apart od recommends you use silicone well i didn't want to silicone it because i want to be able to get it back apart if i have any problems in the future i mean it's definitely a good access point and um, as long as you can take it apart you'll be able to to do stuff with it and fix it so anyway i hope this helps people good luck thanks for watching